spoke about Sushumna ma'am. So Mrs. Ms. Sushumna ma'am is a, a Moodle certified educator and an edtech consultant currently associated with Camerize project at New York University, Canada. Uh, yes. And uh, ma'am also plays a significant role to uh, co-creating interactive courses for the Camerize members and community of practice in New York uh, University. E-class, LMS, and co-facilitating it for the Camerize users. Her expertise as a senior instructional designer with the H5P Merlot project further showcases her dedication to enhancing in instructional design and technology integration in education. Uh, Mrs. Soshimna Raoji is a passionate advocate for OER and uh, actively pro and actively promotes their accessibility and benefits in the educational community. With her roles as CEO of JustWrite.in and founder of H5PCatalog.in, she demonstrates her commitment to innovative and interactive learning experiences. We heartily welcome you for this session, ma'am. Now, uh, the, uh, yeah, our, 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 uh, this session is uh, um, towards you and uh, we all welcome you once again. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Gulshan, ma'am. A small correction is it's uh, not New York, it's a York University. Oh, sorry. No sorry, ma'am. Sorry. No problem. No problem. Because the name, it says York. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you for these beautiful words, uh, Gulshan, ma'am. And I really appreciate, uh, again, considering me, uh, especially thanks to CIAT and NCRT for this wonderful session. Whenever I participate in a session like this I definitely learn a lot because my motto is to serve teachers and participating in these kind of uh, sessions as a resource person will give me uh, a new horizons and the new thought provoking opportunities how to help teachers and I think uh, in today's uh, session there are around 135 participants if I'm not wrong yeah Okay. Uh, Is it, uh, excuse me, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, ma'am. So these 135 participate, uh, participants uh, in this number, uh, we are also there, okay. uh, our team. And uh, these particip uh, participants are from the 10 states, ma'am. Yeah. Which okay. are the Hindi speaking states. And uh, uh -huh. these states are Bihar, Chhattisgarh, Goa, Gujarat, Jharkhand, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Odisha. West Bengal and uh, UT of Dadar Nagar Haveli, Daman and Dew. So okay. this is a Hindi speaking a group. Uh, but yes, they can understand English also. Sure, ma'am. I'll try to be bilingual. Yeah. Uh, I can uh, comfortably speak Hindi too. So yeah, I'll you. try. I'll try my level best to understand. Even if they can communicate in their mother tongue, I'll try to understand. Mujhe, uh, Indian languages. So I'll try uh, my level best to address all the queries and their uh, whatever uh, the questions they have towards this session, ma'am. Thank you so much. And, uh, good afternoon, participants. I know it's difficult. Uh, lunch ke baad session hai. Thoda to difficulty hota hai. Fir bhi, um, I'll try uh, my level best. Thoda aur koshish karenge active hone ke liye aur mera presentations are always, uh, meri presentations hai sab uh, interactive rehte hai and today being a, um, a session on interaction and interactive content, we should be uh, having an interactive session. That's my motto. I hope you all agree with that. So coming to um, the form I have given to you all, uh, when I asked like, uh, have you heard about H5P? Um, I'm very happy. I'm glad uh, that 39 of them said uh, yes, but there are 59 people said they didn't know about it. Don't worry, I will address. Why I ask these questions are like, um, I want to know uh, how much you know about this particular tool because this tool is H5P. We have a lot of um uh baat karenge iske bare mein aur aapko thoda bahut jankari bhi mil jayega is session ke baad i'm sure you will be confident enough to create h5b content after this session 
coming to uh, how many of you ever uh, really used uh, H5P, it's surprisingly, they said yes, 13 again and 85 no. And then um, uh, looking at these numbers, you know, uh, I prefer uh, uh, addressing the crowd from the scratch, you know, um, from the beginning, because I just wanted to know that how many of you really aware of uh, this particular tool? If not, then we should be uh, creating um, a session where well-versed with um, what you call um, more um, in-depth from scratch. That's my motto, actually. So let me start my presentation. Let me share my screen. Um, Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's good. I hope you all can see me and hear me, right? That's good. Okay. Coming to our session. First, uh, I want to you to be very active. The timelines given to me are 2 to 3.30 p.m. that I'll be talking. And then from 3.45 to 5, we will be uh, having a hands-on session. But what uh, do I do? 2 to 3.30 ke beach, we will do a little lecture hai, wo thoda kam karenge, aur jyada hands -on uh, session. And we will do a little hands-on. Because after this session, मैं चाहती हूं आप सब लोग इंटरैक्टिव कंटेंट एटलीस्ट दो या तीन तरीके के कंटेंट क्रिएट करें और शेयर करें पब्लिकली ओके तो इसलिए मेरा लेक्चर थोड़ा कम और ज्यादा हैंड्स ऑन में फोकस करेंगे uh, शायद 30 मिनट्स का लेक्चर आई ट्राई आई ट्राई 30 टू 45 मिनट्स ओके अगर आपका इंटरेक्शन थोड़ा ज्यादा हो गया तो ये शायद 3:30 तक भी हो जाएगा बट रिमेंबर आई विल बी आस्किंग लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चंस इन बिटवीन आपको या व्हाइट बोर्ड में आंसर करना पड़ेगा या नहीं तो आपको चैट बॉक्स में आंसर करना पड़ेगा ओके एंड आई एम आई एम वेरी श्योर दैट लास्ट 15 और 20 मिनट्स we will spend on specially on question and answers okay coming to my first question to you all okay i will ask you a question and then i will share a whiteboard with you all you try to type that phrase okay what comes to your mind that phrase aapko dimag mein aapke soch mein kya aayega jab aap sochte hain interaction ke bare mein aapke teaching learning process mein aapke teaching learning environment mein as a teacher ya uh, as a user agar aap koi course le rahe ho online mein ya aap koi college attend kar rahe ho fir bhi because we are all lifelong learners right to aapke soch mein kya aayega let me uh, share a whiteboard with you all. <clears throat> I hope uh, you all could see a new whiteboard here. तो या आपके मन में इंटरैक्टिविटी के बारे में क्या आएगा कोई एक फ्रेज आप टाइप करें इसमें आप टेक्स्ट का टूल लीजिए और टाइप कर सकते हैं यहाँ पे लेफ्ट साइड में आपका टेक्स्ट आएगा अगर आप मोबाइल यूज कर रहे हो तो थोड़ा अलग से दिखेगा तो इंटरैक्टिव कंटेंट अगर आप सोचेंगे एज अ टीचर और एज अ यूजर आपके मन में क्या आएगा कम्युनिकेशन ओके इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स वेरी गुड ओके इट्स अ टू वे कम्युनिकेशन ठीक है 
interaction is on between teachers and students. Okay. Involvement of students. ठीक है. Uh, because I could see uh, आपके जो uh, form में मैंने देखा है uh, आप um, pre primary से लेके ट्वेल्थ तक और डी डी और और बी एड स्टूडेंट्स को टीच करने वाले भी हैं तो आप uh, आपके मन में और कुछ आना चाहिए सो आई एम जस्ट ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड आप क्या सोच रहे हो इंटरक्टिव कॉन्टेंट के बारे में या इंटरक्टिविटी के बारे में ठीक है जॉयफुल लर्निंग हाँ हाँ वो जॉय कब आएगा ओके स्टूडेंट सेंट्रिक लर्निंग इट्स वेरी गुड आई ट्राई टू ऑर्गेनाइज दिस मे बी बहुत सारे लोग मोबाइल यूज कर रहे हैं शायद आईसीटी पार्टिसिपेशन ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स इन डिस्कशन ड्यूरिंग प्रीवियस नॉलेज चेक ओके यानी कि डायग्नोस्टिक असेसमेंट कर रहे हो आप या डिस्कशन कर रहे हो ओके वेरी गुड शेयरिंग ऑफ थॉट हाँ हाँ easy to understand okay active involvement of all learners uh -huh. interactive class with students okay a two way communication to pehle hi bata diye joyful aur uh, audio visual tools theek hai nahi hum uh, tools ke bare mein baat nahi kar rahe इंटरक्टिविटी के बारे में इंटरक्टिव कंटेंट या इंटरक्शन क्लास में जब हो रहा है तो वो कैसा आपके मन में क्या आएगा एक्टिविटी बेस्ड क्लासरूम ओके वेरी गुड Okay, more participants and easily remember active involvement to communication. Maybe that's what you meant here. Uh huh. Good rapport. Yes. Please don't use any circles or any other tools. Please just use only text. Okay. Student participation. ठीक है. Collaborative learning. ठीक है. Just type a phrase. Interacting with children. Okay, very good. Uh, I didn't understand role play. Okay, you meant a role play. Okay, you are making them. Okay, actively engaging them in the classroom. Maybe that's what you meant. Role play, very good. <laughs> okay, please don't Google it. Okay, just give your thoughts. Looking at it, uh, we can say uh, from uh, where uh, trying to connect with day-to-day -day activities. Okay, innovative class group learning. effective teaching learning yes it is effective definitely but what comes to your mind when we say interactive content that's my question okay so now let me close uh, this whiteboard okay uh, and uh, let us move on to the a proper definition of interactivity okay yeah okay still people are typing over there i could see that uh huh uh resourceful learning okay okay resourceful learning collaborative learning if the content is student friendly okay if the content is student friendly okay okay 
it's an activity based and uh, strengthening student teacher relationship okay active involvement of learners okay somebody is still local language theek hai local language mein humko bolne ke liye aap bol rahe ho ki indigenous mein aap practice karoge interactive yani ki okay practical application theek hai somebody is writing about practical application okay i would have given you a nice marking I thought of giving you a word cloud, but I thought this is much easier. See, this is also teaching learning process with empathy. Okay. Pictorial. Okay. Effective teaching learning process. Theek hai. Learning by doing creative activity based classroom. Creativity activity based classroom. Okay. Very good. Okay. So let me close this uh, whiteboard now. And let me... Uh, share my screen again okay so that's the question i asked you all about uh, interactivity if we take a uh, consider if we consider a dictionary definition okay if we consider a dictionary definition how it looks like uh, it says the involvement of users in the exchange of information with computers and the degree to which this happens this is very important yes many of you already said it's a two way communication yes exchange of information and involvement of users no doubt about it when we consider interaction in the teaching learning process various factors come to mind right it could be like abhi humne dekha hai bahut kuch aapne bol diya interactivity ke bare mein effective communication hoga between teacher and students और एक्टिव लर्निंग स्ट्रैटेजी होगा ऑपरचुनिटीज फॉर कोलैबोरेशन दैट आल्सो यू मेंशन एंड द प्रोविजन ऑफ टाइमली एंड कंस्ट्रक्टिव फीडबैक मैंने तो ये नहीं देखा है कहीं भी राइट वी हैव टू प्रोवाइड अ टाइमली एंड अ कंस्ट्रक्टिव फीडबैक एंड देर इज अ वन वंडरफुल पेपर ऑन दिस फीडबैक मुझे आपके साथ बहुत ये शेयर करना चाहिए कि अगर फीडबैक हम दे रहे हैं तो बस कंस्ट्रक्टिव फीडबैक देने में नहीं हो गया है वो ऐसा देखना है कि हमारा लर्नर्स को ट्रैक भी करना है वो फीडबैक को उसने इम्प्रूवमेंट के इसका स्टडीज को इम्प्रूवमेंट करने के लिए इम्प्लीमेंट किया है कि नहीं वो जैसा आपने जो फीडबैक दिया है तो उसने आ, उसके करियर में उसके लर्निंग में इम्प्लीमेंट कहाँ तक किया है वो बहुत जरूरी बात है उसमें फोकस करना ठीक है एंड एंगेजिंग एंड इंटरक्टिव टीचिंग मेथड्स राइट दीज आर वेरी एसेंशियल्स दैट वेरी वेरी एसेंशियल एलिमेंट्स इन प्रमोटिंग दिस सब्जेक्ट मटेरियल और एंकरेजिंग स्टूडेंट पार्टिसिपेशन दैट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट so when we say uh, interactivity the word if we go to uh, the actual uh, taxonomy of it that word came from a latin language called interactio which means common that inter means common between and actio means action so interactivity is one of the characteristics of the uh, communication process or a dialogue process and then it's a forms of process of learning we must say right and also this definition says to what degree that means at what type of you know, interactivity if you go to any um, learning development company or any um, e courses development company if you ask them to create a e course and uh, if you are outsourcing them then definitely wo aap se puchhenge ki ye kaun sa level ka interaction chahiye aapko yani ki level जीरो में uh, क्या होगा लेवल वन में टू में थ्री में दिस आर द थ्री लेवल्स दैट जीरो वन टू थ्री देर आर एक्चुअली फोर लेवल्स वी नंबर फ्रॉम जीरो टू थ्री जीरो इज अ वेरी बेसिक इंटरक्शन एंड वन इज थोड़ा बहुत आपने बैक एंड फोर्थ के लिए आपने इंटरेक्शन दिया है और ऑडियो भी थोड़ा बहुत आप यूज करेंगे और ऑडियो वीडियो के साथ होगा आपका थर्ड लेवल का एंड देन फोर्थ लेवल तक अगर आप अगर आप यूज कर सकते हैं इमर्सिव लर्निंग दैट दैट इज अ हायर लेवल ऑफ इंटरेक्शन 
okay coming to the various uh, types you know uh, when we see this for example this kind of a lecture where um, i am just going on uh, talking about uh, some topic right so when we consider interactivity okay we, we talk about this active learning what is exactly an active learning <clears throat> Active learning is a student-centric approach. Many of you already given in the whiteboard, right? So where um, teacher is not the focus, student is the focus. And we will try to address their needs. We'll make them, uh, we'll actively participate in the class. We engage them. But then when it comes to passive learning examples, like uh, these kind of uh, webinars where a teacher or a lecturer will be talking about a topic, but then, um, <clears throat> these kind of uh, lectures can also be ma made interactive when it comes to technology, uh, any kind of uh, tool you take. For example, right now we are using Zoom, or we can have polls, you can have whiteboards, you can have collaborative and sharing um, rooms uh, that we can have uh, separated rooms where we can allocate them and then we give them or we break the participants into groups we give them some exercises based on the subject we can break and we can we can engage them in a breakout rooms that's also one way of uh, making this passive lectures into active learning opportunity for the students okay when it comes to this uh, interactivity in teaching learning environment three these three types we even now consider this is actually developed in 1989. The, the a paper talks about it is three types of interaction that is learner learner interaction, learner teacher interaction, and learner content interaction. Right. Uh, many times what happens is students are uh, merely passive observers. Like uh, they are not really given an opportunity to participate. When, uh, when we handle those kind of sessions, uh, that kind of instructions by the teacher or the instructor that hardly makes any impact on their uh, learning process. So for effective learning and retention, okay, whatever uh, you, you are trying to uh, disseminate, right? They have to retain that knowledge too. And then for that, we require interaction. This is what makes that experience more uh, interesting and we, we should say more worthwhile and uh, that means valuable for the learner or for the participant. So these are the three big types that we will talk about is interaction in mind currently in current uh, scenario, like we call it a hybrid learning scenario, right? Hybrid learning mode where uh, we interact with them definitely in face-to-face -face sessions, right? And also uh, in a blended mode option that uh, we have a teaching face-to-face -face sessions, but also we have a learning management system or some kind of a technological uh, op options and opportunities to convey something to our students. These are very, very essential for any uh, learning and uh, development or any teacher to understand the engagement, uh, learner engagement, these three types of uh, interactions to consider. This is what proposed by M.G. Moore, learner-learner interaction. These opportunities are created for learners to interact with each other. Like, for example, you can provide a peer evaluation, right? When you ask me that, uh, how is it possible peer evaluation in a pre-primary options? Like definitely, you can share, you can exchange the drawings that they have done, the creative work that they have created. And you ask um, student B's work to uh, evaluate by student A, ask them to give number of stars, right? Depending upon, and then you can ask them on what basis they have given, they have evaluated. 
definitely you can engage them. Okay, this is a very uh, um, a mere uh, example that I have, I'm talking about. But then when it comes to higher classes and uh, when you use a technology and there, there are various options and possibilities for peer evaluation also. Or you can provide some kind of games when they can play with each other, even in a face-to-face -face classroom or in a discussions. Somebody wrote in the whiteboard about interactivity is like a diagnostic assessment and discussing what they have learned in a previous class, right? You can, uh, you, you can have those kind of discussions between the learners too, right? And also you can uh, uh, include resources related to uh, various communities of practice or like or links to relevant uh, sites or organizations. Learners will have opportunities to interact with guest speakers or uh, activity, whoever is providing that particular simulation. And then they can interact between the learners also, not only from the instructor, right? They can exchange ideas. When it comes to learner instructor or learner teacher interaction in multiple forms, right? Various communication channels are available. For example, um, through a bulletin board, right? If it is an e classroom or even in a physical classroom, face to face classroom, and then uh, you can uh, give them a feedback, like either to the group or individually, or during office hours, you can ask them to come and meet and uh, talk about this interaction, okay? uh, like what they have learned and what uh, they have observed or if they have any doubts. And if it, if you consider, if you use a learning management system use kar rahe ho, or koi technology use in your class, then you directly learner ke learner uh, individually private message bhej sakte hain yani ki uh, agar aap face to face classroom mein ho to you can ask the particular learner to come and meet you at the particular time or you can give the feedback to the entire class so that is possible to the entire classroom or individually also that learner teacher when it comes to learner content interaction that is what in today's uh, session we will be discussing more about it right learners can interact with the course content in multiple ways through multimedia activities or assignments or self-assessments that we can provide or projects that you give right you there are many ways that they can interact with the content but then remember when you are creating this content that where the learner will interact, somebody wrote about a student friendly content. How will you know? How will you know? So first you should analyze a student needs and you should analyze what kind of environment that you are in. पहले आपको ये सब पूरा इकट्ठा करना चाहिए अगर आप आ, आपको कोई टूल पसंद आया नहीं तो टूल आपने सीखा बस आ, उसमें आप क्रिएट कर दिए कंटेंट लेकिन अगर यूजर एक्सेस नहीं करना आ, नहीं आ, कर पा रहे तो देयर इज नो यूज ओके यू हैव टू थिंक अबाउट इट इवन इन अ फेस टू फेस क्लासरूम इफ यू हैव अ स्मार्ट बोर्ड और एनी अदर प्रोजेक्टर ऑप्शन और एनी अदर टेक्नोलॉजिकल एनहांस लर्निंग दैट इट इज हैपनिंग इन योर इंस्टीट्यूशन देन यू कैन थिंक अबाउट दैट काइंड ऑफ अ टूल वेयर यू कैन इंक्लूड टू एंगेज योर Learner content interaction. Okay. So interactivity in a teaching learning environment definitely promotes active learning. That is active participation. Active learning and passive learning. There are two different approaches. To uh, bo In both uh, types, you, you student or a learner will acquire some knowledge and skills. No doubt about it. Active learning involves more of a participation or a problem solving. Similarly, even for passive learning, like it is a listening or right now you are doing your observing or uh, memorizing, right? The various ways, both ways, both approaches uh, have their own disadvantages and advantages. But then we have to understand when it is really necessary uh, to provide active learning approach or to uh, adapt this passive learning approach. 
for example for this kind of a huge gatherings when we are uh, talking about certain topic yes passive learning sometimes might help to introduce any topic on a complex topic right to make them observe to make them listen to make them uh, memorize retain some knowledge yes sometimes it will help too so active learning is it's a process that focuses on students involvement in the entire learning teaching learning process it's a student centric approach many of you talked about it on the whiteboard when we talked about interaction or interactivity right so when it comes to uh, this kind of a approach students will actively engage in the learning process working with their uh, content or with the peers or, or with the teacher to solve certain problems or to answer certain questions it could be a self assessment or simply you are providing an assignment to answer right so best benefit of this active learning is that encourages your users depending upon the content type that you create and the kind of question or uh, the kind of prompt you give to them so it will definitely encourage critical thinking process and problem solving skills among learners so you have to challenge your students to think critically about the particular piece of question that you provide particular piece of information that you provide and how uh, you should observe you should provide a question aapko aisa wala क्विज देना चाहिए कि अगर आप क्विज दे रहे हो कोई असाइनमेंट दे रहे हो जो आपने इंफॉर्मेशन दिया है ऑलरेडी उन लोगों को वो कैसा वो नॉलेज अप्लाई करके वो पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन सॉल्व कर रहे हैं सो दैट मींस यू हैव टू थिंक अबाउट हायर ऑर्डर थिंकिंग स्किल्स डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द काइंड ऑफ नॉलेज दैट यू आर प्रोवाइडिंग एंड द काइंड ऑफ रिटेंशन दैट यू रिक्वायर योर लर्नर्स टू अचीव right it also helps students active learning helps students to develop communication skills and teamwork skills because when you create some group projects what together kaam karna sikhenge kaisa communicate karna wo sikhenge so agar aap ek assignment de rahe hain to क्लास में आपने चार चार बच्चों को एक एक ग्रुप बना दिया और पहले उन लोगों के बीच में इतना अच्छा कम्युनिकेशन नहीं था फिर भी कुछ प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व करने के लिए कुछ असाइनमेंट सॉल्व करने के लिए वो ग्रुप प्रोजेक्ट कंप्लीट करने के लिए वो लोग मिलके काम करेंगे उसमें उन लोगों को टीम वर्क स्किल्स आएंगे कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स अचीव करेंगे okay when we are talking about this interaction and interactivity in a teaching learning process active participation and active learning definitely comes into the picture similarly while uh, with this interactivity in the content in in a, a technology enhanced learning especially it will give an opportunity to try attract learners behavior also how they are interacting with that piece of content or the information that you have provided <clears throat> and then sometimes you can also provide them an opportunity to communicate with you right how how they can communicate with you with the through the content that you create that is possible and it depends on the kind of tool you use so now again it's a question time okay you can type in the chat box because i could see in the whiteboard it is real messy or if you want to make it whiteboard really neat i would love to share another whiteboard the question will be like examples of any interactive content that you use in your teaching learning environment okay any interactivity that you you could give an example you could give an example okay um you want me to share a whiteboard okay somebody gave a fat example or you you are you are typing in the chat box very good okay quiz okay you are using i want i want to know what you are using ओके क्विज है गूगल क्लासरूम है जियोजीब्रा यूज कर रहे हैं आप स्मार्ट बोर्ड ऑडियो वीडियो कंटेंट है काहूट है वर्ड वॉल गेम्स है ये ओके इन गूगल फॉर्म प्रोजेक्ट आई डिंट अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज प्रोजेक्ट मृदुला कुमारी मैम ओके गूगल फॉर्म ठीक है 
can canva okay canva oh yeah okay you can create a interactive uh, infographic okay with canva too without any other tools help right for example i'll i'll talk about it if you have any doubts on that let me see lot of answers here smart boards mentimeter powerpoint presentation and bible zoom oh my god all these you are all using h5p manjula uh hans the okay bar okay google form 360 watch vr okay you are already using lopa mutra mishra that's nice i don't know whether you have those kits available in schools um kbc tech quiz theek hai simulations okay i'm asking not the examples that uh, that comes to your mind that examples that you use duolingo to teach language you meant are you using in the classroom then definitely if you are using uh, in the classroom duolingo to teach any language it's a good research paper that's wonderful teaching physics physics animations okay from vasavak okay waskak dot check check versions of it okay rajesh narayan racer you are saying yes i am using i don't know which one you are using olab okay okay so these are various apps you are using okay chemtech chemtech for chemistry okay okay even with a simple powerpoint presentation you can uh, give a little interaction but you have to really work hard towards it okay padlet mm -hmm. okay smart board google form and audio video content okay so very good okay okay thank you for clearing okay jemol okay with images you are creating an interactive environment maybe you are sharing and you are asking okay with descriptive answers okay homework app okay wordpress wordpress mein aap anand ji wordpress site mein aap kya kar rahe ho yeah that's also even a small click is also or um, and play is also an interaction okay i do accept very good it could be it could be uh, fantastic i just want to see uh, how many of you are really actively <laughs> engaged in the presentation that's very good it could be quiz or a image slider Uh, webinars or lectures like this and Q and A sessions, we can create polls or interactive maps that we can provide or simple games. There are various apps that you have provided. Wonderful, wonderful. So, <clears throat> when it comes to interactive content creation, you know, you should not just create because for the sake of it. Let me explain why. <clears throat> That. your situation should demand that means the content type if it is a complex content and then you want to simplify it with a small infographic yes go for it because you know how to create an infographic randomly you pick up content and create there is no point if you think that you are providing uh, that particular concept that particular topic और थोड़ा इजी होगा यूजर को मेमोराइज करने में डेफिनेटली दे से दैट राइट अगर हम टेक्स्ट के जरिए इमेज या ऑडियो या वीडियो देने से थोड़ा ज्यादा रिटेंशन होगा डेफिनेटली अगर वो सब्जेक्ट डिमांड कर रहा है तो डेफिनेटली यू हैव टू डू इट अगर कुछ प्रेजेंटेशन हम देखेंगे कि बहुत सारे चीजें होते जाते हैं राइट बहुत क्लमजी हो जाएगा और different different types of images they use and different types of bulleted lists and animations that we create because they know they, they create no that topic should demand 
and also the you have to consider your students needs learner needs what exactly they want if you create such kind of very interactive highly interactive content if that is not reaching your learners there is no point so avoid creating any interactivity just for the sake of it please you have to create interactions when there is a demand when there is a situation it demands here the demand is either the content should demand or your learners should demand you think that your learners are not really coping up with a particular topic ye bahut kuch life cycle hai science ke bare mein baat kiye to kuch life cycle hai wo thoda complex topic hai chalo bachchon ko hum dikhayenge ek acha image ke sath wo jaldi wo log pakad payenge yes you can do it agar aap social maps political maps dena chahte hain तो अगर उनको दो मैप्स के बीच में डिफरेंस यानी कि ये टाइम पीरियड में पर्टिकुलर जोग्राफिकल लोकेशन कैसा था और ये टाइम पीरियड में कैसा था तो उन लोगों को अच्छे से पता चलने के लिए यस यू कैन यूज सम स्लाइडर्स और यू कैन यूज दो मैप्स इंडियन यू कैन प्रोवाइड फॉर एग्जांपल 1970 में कौन सा कैसा था हमारा इंडिया हाउ मेनी स्टेट्स हुआ था एंड नाउ हाउ मेनी स्टेट्स आते हैं so you want to give them um a uh, two images and comparison so that they easily remember things yes if you think that your learners needs it yes you have to provide it so please don't create for the sake of it okay so now we'll talk about interactive content and creation i said i'll try to wind up as soon as possible but looks like uh, it takes another at least 15 minutes i'll try to conclude it soon and then we'll jump on to hands on session theek hai coming to the authoring your content interactive content authoring we call it in e learning parlance uh content creation is authoring we call it it's like you write a book right you create a content you author content there are various tools available in the market right from proprietary tools to a freebies to premium tools to open source tools what is the difference between these uh, premium premium or open source free tools right so there are many tools free tools are like some tools uh, that uh, that entire content that we create they give us some free option to host that in their cloud space and we create content and that content is in their cloud space we we log into it and then they provide some um elements to create to author our e content digital content okay when it comes to uh, premium ones okay that means more features are available if you pay for that right for example if you are using a free version of a zoom then there are some limitations right if you pay and use there are some features that are available for teachers if you go for a enterprise edition of the same zoom you will have more many more features that you can use that is the premium these are all proprietary tools there are some tools which are open source tools right but they require certain space that is the web space that is a server space or we call it a cloud space to host that particular tool and then we will be able to utilize the tool freely you have to pay only for that space that you take but not for the tool also what what do you mean by open source free and open source cost tools we call it right what do we mean by open source softwares what do we mean by that is that the entire piece of code behind that particular application is available to public with an open license so that users if they have a capacity they can enhance that particular application software so they can use it the way they want it they modify it they can change the features or they can change the look and feel of it not just the look and feel but also the functionality 
you can change with the open source tools. That is the advantage of open source tools. Okay, these are the various uh, examples that I have given both open source and free and premium tools. Like Thinglink is one that you can create a wonderful 360 images um, or uh, clickable uh, image uh, hotspots that you can provide. Similarly, you can create a wonderful uh, mind maps with Coggle that also comes under interactions, right? So, uh, and with the help of a storyline, you can create a wonderful uh, interactive presentations. Right, uh, the, but these are these are these are all premium tools. We will focus on open source tool and today, and that is about H5P, my favorite tool too. I've been associated with uh, this tool as a user um, since its inception, as a trainer, past maybe five years or so. It's eight years old, I think eight or nine years old H5P is. So I've been looking at it since its inception and how I got into H5P is before that I was using some premium tools and then where I was working in an NGO, uh, they realized it's very expensive for their pocket. That's not really pocket friendly tools that we are using. And then uh, as an enthusiast, ed education technologist, I was always a uh, fond of a free and open source technologies. And I figured out, I found online about this H5P tool when they launched, mm -hmm. okay, when they launched in a, a discussion forum. And then I registered and I started using it. Okay, how, how actually, why actually H5P? Okay, when you ask me, I just gave you a small intro to it. First, it is an open source. I told you what is an open source. If we have a capacity, we can enhance its functionality too, not just a look and feel of it. And moreover, it is responsive content that we can create, meaning the content that it is created is 99% uh, available in all sorts of devices. Okay, and uh, because uh, this was a very highlighted option earlier, uh, there, uh, I think, I don't think uh, uh, now anymore we use this word called responsive because coming days, and of course, even now in the, the present, um, right now, all the tools, uh, the output definitely should meet, um, should be responsive because we are using different types of devices, tabs to mobiles, to desktops, to laptops, because earlier it was very new. And then um, they had to work on that particular concept that is being responsive. That is adjustment of that resolution to different device types, depending upon that pixel size that it will display, right? So that, uh, that's why it is a very prominent, uh, it is a responsive that you create some content and it is accessible through your mobiles or tabs also because i'll tell you my ex own experience i don't want to name the tool uh in the very beginning there were there was some premium tool that we were i was using it and then the content that created in that was not available in ios uh, because the player is not available only in android it was available later they made it of course even for ios because there are various operating systems that they are uh, that is possible uh, that users might use. We don't know. We will have a diverse learners. So, we will create the content that we will be responsive. Hona H5P is, uh, content is responsive. That means it will display 99% in all the devices. Moreover, the best feature about this is easy to use for both, for the learner and also for the teacher. Okay, for both a creator and also for the participant, for the learner, it's easy to use, easy to navigate, easy to understand, to create as a teacher. And it's easy to share and modify. Okay, you can easily share that particular piece of content, not only with your learners, but also with the world. And then if the permission, the rights of uh, permits, you can even modify it. And once you create it, it you can modify as number of times that you want and it's very easy to modify also. We, if we say that what we can do with H5P, you can create interactive videos where in a video in between you can have various types of questions from true or false to uh, your drag and drop options. 
right? So various drag and drop options or mark the words, or you can just provide them a piece of information like an image also. Or you, you can also uh, give uh, as a standalone content types that you can create. Uh, for example, here you can see that here is a fill in the blanks option with a wonderful feedback. This is an advanced fill in the blanks that we call it. And then uh, they will provide a feedback, uh, particularly mentioning about the content that you provide. And then to understand these various content types, definitely you need patience, time and practice. That is very, very important. In H5P content types, there are many of them where you can create individually first and you will learn creating small portion of it. And then you can move on to complex content types where uh, multimedia presentations and videos uh, with multiple choice quizzes, drag and drops, and or uh, image hotspots or true or false, it is possible to include all these. If you see this uh, image as a periodic table kind, you know, I got really inspired with uh, uh, one uh, with Miss Stuart uh, Millar, I think. Yeah, he first created in a course presentation various uh, content types in a periodic table. I thought that why don't I create one based on our color, color coding I want to provide. And then I want to segregate these uh, activity types based on how they behave. For example, the blue ones are all here are just presentations. Like you have to, you can present images or text. Kali up present kar sakte hain. Koi usme questions puchna ya koi drag and drop add karna o sab nahi ho paega. Or green mein jo hai thoda baut edutainment jasa aap use kar sakte ho. Okay. Agar aap yellow mein jayenge. तो पूरा एकदम टास्क दे सकते हो आप जैसे कि क्विज दे सकते हो आ, और क्रॉसवर्ड होता है या कोई क्वेश्चन है इमेज चॉइस बेस्ड क्वेश्चन यानी कि आप क्वेश्चन पूछेंगे और आपके चॉइसेस हैं इमेजेस इट्स अ सिंगल सिंगल टास्क दैट यू कैन क्रिएट आई ऑलवेज सजेस्ट इफ यू आर बिगिनर यू शुड स्टार्ट विद दिस येलो वंस Right, you first start. You first start creating single uh, tasks. Then you will understand how to uh, create inside a presentation with task. These are the uh, there are uh, orange ones with course presentation, interactive book, interactive video, um, branching scenario, column. These are all um, presentation with task. You can present some content along with some task. Okay. The pink ones are audio-based ones, uh, but then you have to be very careful when you create the audio-based ones because they behave differently with different kind of browsers because our users might use different browsers when you are creating in mass, uh, like you are, uh, you are creating for the entire uh, public uh, content that you are providing, unless you know the needs, unless you know your environment, technological environment, I don't really prefer using this audio ones. If you know that your users use only this browser and this, 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 and you can go ahead. Okay. Uh, there are more than uh, 50 varieties of H5P content types and it is still evolving. Um, there is a wonderful community available in H5P.org. You can join there and then you can see what is happening about it. Okay. We talked about uh, H5P and various content types. More than 50 varieties of content types are there. But then coming to how and where to create H5P interactive content. I asked this question in the form, right? Have you ever used as a student or I mean as a participant or as a teacher? Right, and many of you said uh, used, and they also shared. Uh, they created some content, and they shared that content types also, right? But most of them are in hyp.org. 
Remember, if you are creating a real-time content, hyp.org is just only a community site for HYP software. Okay, it uh, its purpose main purpose is to provide uh, information documentation about HYP activities with various examples and information and documentation. What is HYP? How to get started? All this information is given there. Okay. Also, there is a strong forum about H5P that they communicate with each other and a lot of uh, news and new H5P uh, options that they provide, they talk about it there. But when you want to create a real-time content that you want to share with your users, H5P.org is not a solution. Let me tell you this. Okay. But how and where to create? Let me clear this now. Okay. Any any doubts on that? Any questions on that? As I said, because I saw that many of you created in uh, HYP dot uh, org. Okay. No questions about it because I saw that. Anand sir told uh, Anand, yeah, embedded H5P in WordPress site. Okay, where did you create? But in in WordPress, you can create H5P directly. Okay, let me explain you how and where to create uh, this uh, H5P options. Um, you should have a H5P enabled website. That is um, WordPress site, right? Or you should have a learning management system that is a canvas or a Moodle or a Blackboard or a Brightspace. Or you should have a SaaS plan that is h5p.com. Okay. Um, what is the difference between h5p.com and h5p.org? I just explained what is h5p.org. And now let me tell you what is h5p.com. It is a software as a solution platform. What they do is uh, they host that h5p software for you. And then they provide you a space where you can create your content and you can share it with your users but also they provide various other options like of course you have to pay certain fee for that um analytics user analytics wonderful analytics we get apart from that a new feature that got introduced is h5p ai option ai import option artificial intelligence import option what it does is um, I think uh, by the end of this session, if possible, I'll try to share uh, uh, those uh, that information as a video or I'll do a live demo of it, AI input, is about uh, uh, like you provide, uh, for example, you found a very interesting static open educational resource, okay? And you want to generate H5P content type out of it. And then uh, you, if you provide that link to this AI import and H5P AI import will work on it, the particular link or the content or the text that you provide or a document that you provide, either you can up, uh, give a link or you can provide a document or you can paste a text and then it will create possible H5P activity types for you. And then you can choose which activity type that you want to create in minutes it will create it for you, okay? But not a metadata information that will add that is about copyright information that you have to really consider. Okay, what are the other options? If, for example, you don't have a site or you don't have a software as a solution, hyp.com account, or neither you have a uh, learning management system, then how can we use ठीक है हिंदी में बात करेंगे घनश्याम जी हम बोल रहे हैं कि H5P के बारे में कैसे यूज कर सकते हैं कहाँ क्रिएट कर सकते हैं हम अभी बोला है AI इंपोर्ट के बारे में कि H5P में AI इंपोर्ट ऑप्शन H5P.com में है जैसे कि अगर आप कुछ टेक्स्ट देंगे या कोई OER का लिंक देंगे या कोई आप कोई भी कौन सा भी URL या कोई डॉक्यूमेंट देते हैं 
और वो अपने आप आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस से वो एच फाइव पी एक्टिविटी टाइप्स पॉसिबल एक्टिविटी टाइप्स क्रिएट करेगा और आप चूज कर सकते हैं विच एक्टिविटी यू वॉन्ट एंड इट विल क्रिएट एच फाइव पी एक्टिविटीज फॉर यू अभी अभी हमने ये एक्सप्लेन किया है कि आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस का आ, कैसा इस्तेमाल हो रहा है एच फाइव पी डॉट कॉम अकाउंट में ठीक है अगर आपको एच फाइव पी एनेबल्ड वेबसाइट जैसे कि वर्ड प्रेस और फ्री प्लग इन मिलता है एच फाइव पी का वो नहीं है या कोई आपका एच वाई पी डॉट कॉम अकाउंट नहीं है या कोई आपका लर्निंग मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम नहीं है तो आप क्या कर सकते हैं कहाँ क्रिएट कर सकते हैं आप यूज कर सकते हैं डेस्कटॉप एप्लीकेशन कॉल्ड लूमी लूमी इज अ डेस्कटॉप एप्लीकेशन और आप यूज कर सकते हैं लूमी क्लाउड ऑप्शन दैट इज लूमी ऑनलाइन या आप यूज कर सकते हैं एच वाई पी कैटलॉग डॉट इन जहां जाके आप रजिस्टर करना चाहिए और वहां पे आप मेल दे सकते हैं और ओनली ऑप्शन देयर इज लाइक दे इंसिस्ट दैट इज कि वहां पे रीपर्पज किया हुआ कंटेंट यूज कीजिए यानी कि ओ आर बना दीजिए वही तो प्लान है उसका लास्ट टाइम हमने ओपन एजुकेशन वीक में भाग लेने के लिए हंड्रेड टीचर्स मिला के हंड्रेड इंटरक्टिव कॉन्टेंट बनाया और एच कैटलॉग में पब्लिश भी किया और फ्री एच कोर्स रन करके वो भी ऑप्शन मिलता है एच कैटलॉग में ठीक है तो एच के बारे में बहुत कुछ जानकारी हो गया है Uh, हम एच वाई पी यूज करके लूमी uh, एप्लीकेशन यूज करके या कोई लर्निंग मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम और कंटेंट मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम यूज करके एच वाई पी एक्टिविटीज क्रिएट कर सकते हैं अगर आप डेस्कटॉप एप्लीकेशन यूज कर रहे हैं तो वो एच टी एम एल फाइल भी जनरेट कर सकते हैं जैसे कि वेब पेज हो ऐसा पेज ऐसा जनरेट कर सकते हैं डेस्कटॉप एप्लीकेशन के साथ जहां पे भी आप यूज करेंगे एच एडिटर लुक्स सेम एच एडिटर का जो इंटरफेस है वो इधर लूमी क्लाउड में यूज करेंगे या आप लूमी एप्लीकेशन में यूज करेंगे या वर्डप्रेस में फ्री प्लगइन में यूज करेंगे या एलएमएस में यूज करेंगे एडिटर विल लुक द सिमिलर एंड सेम सो दैट यू कैन क्रिएट शेयर डाउनलोड एंड रीयूज एच वाई पी ऑप्शन वेरी इजिली लेकिन ये रीयूज या डाउनलोड ऑप्शन एज एन ऑथर यू हैव टू प्रोवाइड दैट ऑप्शन फॉर द यूजर टू डाउनलोड दैट पर्टिकुलर एक्टिविटी और द कॉन्टेंट चलिए दीपक जी का एक क्वेश्चन हियर है इट्स पॉसिबल दैट देर हैव बीन चेंजेस और डेवलपमेंट रिलेटेड टू एच वाई पी दीपक जी मैंने समझा नहीं आपका क्वेश्चन एच वाई पी का डेवलपमेंट तो हर रोज चलता है सर इट्स अ ओपन सोर्स कम्युनिटी और वेरीड पीपल आर इन्वॉल्व डाइवर्स पीपल आर इन्वॉल्व वो उसको डेवलपमेंट करते समय और वो कुछ इफेक्ट तो नहीं होगा आपके कंटेंट को ओके एनहेंसमेंट्स देते जा रहे हैं वो लोग आई डेंट अंडरस्टैंड योर क्वेश्चन दो दीपक जी यू कैन बी मोर एलोबरेट ऑन दैट सो दैट आई कैन आंसर योर क्वेश्चन ठीक है अगर आप कोई एल एम एस यूज कर रहे हो यहाँ पे कोई है जो मूडल एल एम एस यूज कर रहे हैं आपके स्कूल में या आपके इंस्टीट्यूशन में आप चैट में आंसर दे सकते हैं यस yes, मैम मुझे कहना कहना था कि एआई जो अभी डिस्प्ले हो रहा है हाँ तो इसका परिणाम एच फाइव पे हो सकता है या नहीं कुछ चेंजेस आएंगे क्या नहीं क्या आ सकते हैं क्या आए हुए हैं ये आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस का ऑलरेडी आ गया है सर आप okay. अगर कंटेंट पेस्ट करेंगे वहां पर वो अपने आप एक्टिविटी क्रिएट कर सकता है जी मैम जी मैम थैंक यू जी आई होप आई क्लियर योर डाउट मैम या लेकिन ह्यूमन इंटरवेंशन इज इट इज स्टिल लर्निंग ह्यूमन इंटरवेंशन इज वेरी मच नीडेड 
to create a very precise content because as of now, it doesn't understand what exactly you need out of that piece of content. But it will create a, a laborious process. It will make it easy for you. That's how, as an education technologist, I look at it, artificial intelligence. I, I will share some help files on that. And, uh, nice, sir. Artificial intelligence, so, uh, Binu, Vinita, uh, yes, artificial intelligence can do whatever you want. But here, in the context of H5P, we are talking, right? Yeah. Okay. Coming to uh, my next question, anybody using Moodle here, you can answer in the chat, yes or no, Y or N, if you are using Moodle. Okay, if you are using a Moodle. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Deepakji. If you are using a Moodle, then um, you have to go to your content bank and create H5P activity types. Okay, I saw one no, but anyway, I just ex I just want to show you how the screenshots look like. For example, you have created uh, one activity in Moodle. Okay, ठीक है, no लग रहा है, no problem. आ तो उनका आप analytics देखना चाहते हैं Moodle LMS में. वो कब आन कितना कितने बार आन कितना समय उसने बिताया. और completion rate क्या है, success rate क्या है, और first attempt में वो कितने answers ठीक किया, और second last attempt में क्या किया, first attempt में क्या किया, वो पूरा detailed report आप देख सकते हैं। अगर आप attempt tracking enable करेंगे और grading method में आप highest grade को opt करेंगे तो उसका पूरा attempt का report आप देख सकते हैं। ठीक है अगर आप LMS यूज कर रहे हो तो कोई भी LMS एडिटर लुक्स द सिमिलर वे सिमिलरली इवन इफ यू यूज अ लूमी डेस्कटॉप एप्लीकेशन लेट मी बी वेरी क्लियर हियर मुझे हिंदी में भी बोलना चाहिए कि लूमी कोई आ, खाली वो एप्लीकेशन है वो H5P कंटेंट टाइप क्रिएट करने के लिए खाली वो एप्लीकेशन है फॉर एग्जांपल आप मैं ऐसा एनालॉजी देती हूं कि अगर आपको वर्ड डॉक्यूमेंट क्रिएट करना है तो आप एमएस वर्ड भी यूज कर सकते हैं या कोई आप ओपन ऑफिस भी यूज कर सकते हैं वर्ड डॉक्यूमेंट के लिए और आप गूगल डॉक्यूमेंट्स भी यूज करके आप डॉक्यूमेंट क्रिएट कर सकते हैं ऐसा कि लूमी भी एक एप्लीकेशन है H5P एक्टिविटी क्रिएट करने के लिए अगर फ्यूचर में लूमी और दूसरा टाइप ऑफ कोई एक्टिविटीज का भी क्रिएट करने के लिए वो कुछ भी लॉन्च कर सकता है राइट एज ऑफ नाउ लू डोंट थिंक लूमी इज सेपरेट एच फाइव पी इज सेपरेट एच फाइव पी इज सॉफ्टवेयर टू क्रिएट इंटरक्टिव कॉन्टेंट एंड लूमी इज एन एप्लीकेशन एप्लीकेशन सॉफ्टवेयर विच प्रोवाइड सस एन ऑप्शन टू क्रिएट दीज कॉन्टेंट टाइप्स हमको एच फाइव पी को बनाने में लूमी एप्लीकेशन के जरिए हम बना सकते हैं अगर लूमी डेस्कटॉप एप्लीकेशन में आप क्रिएट करेंगे एच फाइव पी क्रिएट एक्टिविटी क्रिएट करेंगे तो खाली आप डॉट एच फाइव पी जैसा फाइल सेव ही नहीं कर सकते हैं उसको आप एच टी एम एल फाइल जैसा भी आप शेयर कर सकते हैं जैसे कि आपने बना दिया और ग्रुप में या गूगल फॉर्म में गूगल क्लासरूम में आप एच फाइल को शेयर कर सकते हैं अगर आपको ए रिपोर्ट भी इंक्लूड करना है तो आप क्या कर सकते हैं रिपोर्ट इंक्लूड रिपोर्टर को एनेबल करके वो एच फाइल वो आपके यूजर्स को देते हैं अगर यूजर्स एक्सेप्ट करेंगे वो फाइल को वो उसके साथ इंटरेक्शन करेंगे और उसको फिर वो लोग छोटा सा मैं हेल्प फाइल भी देती हूँ इसके बारे में छोटा एक बटन रहता है दबा के डाउनलोड करके वो डॉट लूमी फाइल करता है वो आके आपके आपको फिर से सबमिट करेंगे उसको आप लूमी एनालिटिक्स में डालेंगे तो ऐसा बेसिक एनालिटिक्स आपको आएंगे ओके बट दिस इज स्टिल इन अवेल्युएशन फेस वेन यू आर यूजिंग लूमी अगर आप क्लाउड में यूज करना चाहते हैं अगर आप क्लाउड यूज करना चाहते हैं लूमी 
डॉट एजुकेशन में जाके एप डॉट लूमी डॉट एजुकेशन अगर आप लूमी क्लाउड में जाके रजिस्टर करेंगे आपके ईमेल आईडी से आपको एक ईमेल आएगा वो एक्सेप्ट कर दीजिए फिर यहाँ आके लॉग इन कीजिए तो आपका डैशबोर्ड दिखेगा जैसा हम छोटा सा ब्रेक के बाद ये सब प्रैक्टिस करेंगे अभी क्या है कि आ, आप अगर आपको लूमी क्लाउड में अगर आपको आ, नहीं है आ, आपका रजिस्ट्रेशन तो आप जाइए एप डॉट लूमी डॉट एजुकेशन में आ, वहां पे आप आपका अकाउंट क्रिएट कर सकते हैं अकाउंट क्रिएट करने के बाद स्क्रीन ऐसा दिखेगा आप क्रिएट न्यू कंटेंट करने के बाद यहाँ ऐसा आएगा आपका इंटरफेस लेफ्ट साइड में आपको दिखेगा आपका डैशबोर्ड और पब्लिक कंटेंट माय कंटेंट ये सब जो राइट right साइड में डैशबोर्ड में है वो सब लिंक सभी लेफ्ट में आ जाएगा एडिटर में और राइट right में आपको दिखाई देगा कि जैसे हियर Uh, अगर आप पब्लिकली शेयर करना चाहते हो कौन सा लाइसेंस के साथ शेयर करना है, चाहते हो ये यहाँ पे क्लिक uh, करके एनेबल करके शेयर कर सकते हैं और ये लिंक सबको आप बांट भी सकते हैं ये सब आपका इंफॉर्मेशन क्लाउड में रहेगा ठीक है अगर आप डेस्कटॉप यूज कर रहे हैं तो अलग सा एच फाइल होगा अगर आप क्लाउड में चाहेंगे तो एप डॉट लूमी एजुकेशन में आना चाहिए ये भी डाउनलोड भी कर सकते हैं ओके पहले सेव करना तो जरूरी है बहुत सारे लोग क्या करते हैं बहुत ज्यादा काम भी करने के बाद उसको सेव करना भूल जाते हैं और बीच बीच में सेव करना चाहिए वाइल क्रिएटिंग एच फाइव पी कॉन्टेंट ऑन द टॉप यू हैव एडिट एंड व्यू ऑप्शन वेर यू कैन क्रिएट सेव एंड देन यू कैन व्यू दिस कॉन्टेंट और एट द सेम टाइम यू कैन इवन एडिट ऑल्सो बट बिफोर वी बिगिन हाँ जी रिपीट दैट साइट साइट रिपीट करेंगे एप डॉट लूमी डॉट एजुकेशन यहाँ पे आपको हम यू आर एल देते हैं चैट बॉक्स में हाँ जी दे दिया ठीक है थैंक यू थैंक यू तो आ, अभी हम क्या करेंगे हैंड्स ऑन सेशन में पहली टास्क है आपको वहां पर रजिस्टर करना ठीक है क्योंकि हम क्लाउड यूज करेंगे क्योंकि मैंने देखा है बहुत सारे लोग आप मोबाइल uh, फोन यूज कर रहे हैं ये सेशन अटेंड करने में अगर हम डेस्कटॉप एप्लीकेशन करेंगे तो उन लोगों को थोड़ा दिक्कत हो जाएगा तो इसीलिए हम क्लाउड ऑपरेट करेंगे लेकिन ध्यान में रहिए जो भी आप अः रश्मि मैम अटेंडेंस का आपका प्रॉब्लम आ रहा है ठीक है uh, तो वट एवर यू क्रिएट यू क्रिएट Uh, consciously and the license that you provide i think you all got an idea of what is open educational resource and how to respect a copyright and what are the open licenses and how to um, create an open license to particular piece of content if it is your own okay but definitely k12 content to bahut sara available hai हम आपको फाइव आर्ट्स ऑफ ओ आर पी पता है आपको तो पहले हमको वो सब यूज करना चाहिए ठीक है और हैंड्स ऑन सेशन की शुरू करने से पहले आपको दिमाग में अच्छा सा प्लान होना चाहिए कौन सा टाइप का एक्टिविटी आप क्रिएट करना चाहते हैं आप देखिए लेकिन मैं तो बहुत छोटी सी एक्टिविटी के साथ मैं शुरू करती हूँ ओके और उसके बाद हम जाएंगे दूसरे टाइप ऑफ एक्टिविटी को टू एक्टिविटीज विल ट्राई टू डू टुडे ओके एंड देन थिंक अबाउट लोअर ऑर्डर थिंकिंग स्किल्स एंड हायर ऑर्डर थिंकिंग स्किल्स इफ यू आर प्रोवाइडिंग एनी टाइप ऑफ मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चंस और ट्रू और फॉल्स क्वेश्चंस वेल यू आर क्रिएटिंग अ अगेन राइटिंग अ क्वेश्चन इज अगेन एन आर्ट इट्स अ साइंस एंड आर्ट टूगेदर ओके यू हैव टू मेक यूर लर्नर्स थिंक क्रिटिकली apply the knowledge that you have already provided i also think about you are doing 
uh, creating that assessment based on lots or hots, that is um, lower order thinking skills or higher order thinking skills. Okay, also consider your Bloom's taxonomy. And if you are planning to create picture hotspots, make sure those pictures are ready with you and they are openly licensed. Uh, Dilip uh, was it? Dilip was it? So you are downloading Lumi desktop application. If you want to work on desktop application, you are welcome. But then my first demonstration will be on cloud definitely, and later only we will go on to desktop application. Okay. And then if you have any mathematics and chemistry symbols or equations that you have to provide. Make sure that there is a special option for that. Of course, H5P accepts, but then thoda baut apko mehnat karna padta hai. Or kaun se content type mein wo use karna hai, wo dekh lijiye. Or not to use too many of images for math and chemistry symbols. It is possible to create math symbols in H5P, right? So make sure that you are ready with all this. And then we will take a small... 10 minutes of break and then we will be back and we will start a hands-on session on app.lumi.education. Again, I'm giving here uh, the task is for you in the break to create an account over there. Please don't tell me that you haven't created an account. I'll give you solid 15 minutes or 10 minutes will take. You, you tell me the choice. I am ready anytime with just after a glass of water. Okay. And then we will start the session. Is it 10 minutes or 15 minutes? 15. 15. Okay. Yeah. Good, sir. Good. 15 minutes we will take. Just stretch yourself. Have a glass of water. Have a cup of tea. And then we will create in Lumi Cloud. I will share this presentation with a lot of examples. And uh, h5p.org already got a very good documentation and help files. Okay. Mm -hmm. In 15 minutes, we will meet. Somebody is talking. May I know? May I know? Who is that? Shall we go for a break? 15 minutes break? Yes, ma'am. Thank you for the session. Uh, we can take a 15 minute short break for uh, tea. Then we'll resume our next session after 15 minutes. Thank we'll you. Short, uh, we'll back rightly at 3.45 to resume the show. Sure. Thank you, sir. 